All right, what we're gonna do in, uh, I guess, since this is happening here is, uh, guys, we're gonna be swapping over to a different game then, a uh, different mobile game. Let's see if it's gonna work better. And uh, it's a game I've been playing and I've been talking about for the last two weeks. It's gonna be Final Fantasy Dissidia, Opera Omnia. It's a game that just came out pretty recently and uh, I've been playing it and uh, enjoying it kind of a bit. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. We are blessed to be sponsored by them to play it as well. So what's better than being sponsored as well as enjoying a game that uh, is actually good? Yeah, from Square Enix. All right, Square Enix. I always say Enix, but I believe the, the proper way to pronounce it is Enix. All right, guys. So, like I said, today we're going to be checking out Final Fantasy Omni Opera. Uh, opera. I, how do, I keep saying it wrong. Final, okay, Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. It's a big tongue twister, but if you guys have played Final Fantasy in the past, uh, or if you guys have played any other game from this company, Square Enix, uh, Enix. I say it wrong. Square Enix. Pretty fun game. These are the same makers of, of course, all the other Final Fantasies in the past, as well as uh, Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. All games that bring me that sense of uh, nostalgia. I don't know about you guys. Have you guys played uh, any uh, Final Fantasy games? All right, we're gonna get into this now. And if you guys have any questions, do let me know. So as you can see, a lot of these characters that uh, are on the screen should look very familiar. Some of my favorites were like Luffy and of course Cloud. I've, I've been I've been upgrading my Cloud and using my Cloud kind of a lot. So this game is uh, pretty much in a nutshell a turn-based three versus three. Yeah, very similar to how uh, other Final Fantasy games have been in the past. So I really enjoy this type of games. Final Fantasy VII was one of the best first RPGs I ever played. So yeah, so when when I had the opportunity to get sponsored and play this game, as well as play this game in general, as soon as it got released, I was very excited for it because you know when you hear Final Fantasy, it hits you in the uh, in the feels. You know, it's one of those old games back in the day when you were playing before, and it has always uh, been releasing games. Yeah, so finally hearing a game that's on mobile that uh, looked of interest, I actually saw the trailer. I was very interested in playing it. So basically, if you guys have any questions, do let me know, and I'm going to share whatever information I have. Let's see here. What what uh, basic stuff can we go over of course uh the unit of currency or gold is called gil never changed it's always been like that for final fantasy uh diamonds are more of the premium currency they can be used to revive like your team inside a dungeon if you die people don't usually use that though it's not usually the best way to use it the way people use it the most is definitely through, through drawing where you can draw weapons for your characters so as you play this game you're going to go through the story mode you're going to go through different events and you're going to get most of the characters i believe all the characters in the entire game but what what separates it apart what you can use your diamonds to do is to get the equipment rare equipment and the level of these equipments go by stars, very similar to other games out there, but uh, they go by stars, one star, two star, three star, four star, and five star. As you can see, I did get lucky. I did, I did, a, I did a couple pulls when I started the game. Uh, I believe if you guys start now and you play now, since the game just got released, they have a lot of um, diamond rewards. They're giving a lot of diamonds out for people starting the game and pre it's cut like this pre-register kind of thing. So you're able to get those diamonds and do these rolls. And I luckily got a five star weapon that I could use for Cloud. I don't know if this is the uh, the strongest five star weapon for him. I believe there's another one I was looking up that, that is even better for him, but I was happy to get a weapon for Cloud because I'll tell you right now, I don't care what anybody tells me, okay? I'm gonna use Cloud, all right? Hands down, one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters out there, except maybe like Sora or something like that, but that, that's from Kingdom Hearts. I don't think they'll uh, implement that in here. Like I was saying, uh, I did get blessed to get a five-star weapon here. I don't think it's the best one for Cloud. I believe the best weapon for Cloud, the one I really want that I've been hearing a lot about is this weapon here. And the weapon that I want the most is the... Where is it? Right there. The Ogrenix. Doesn't it just look like a weapon for Cloud? I'm pretty sure it is. I think this might be the weapon. Yeah, look, there's this picture. I think this got to be the best weapon for Cloud. Because its affinity ab ability is really nice. Cross slash BRV boost and paralysis hit on rate. I, I heard this is the best one. I mean, uh, ex tell me if I'm wrong, right? And so for these draws, every single week or once in a while, they'll have different weekly draws where you have a higher chance of getting certain weapons for certain characters. So instead of doing like this draw where I could get like like anything for like any character, right? It kind of narrows it down a little bit and I can uh, specifically try to aim for certain weapons at a five star level by doing these draws instead. We'll probably do some draws later. I have 13,000 diamonds. I mean, I've done, I think total we've gotten about 20 something thousand diamonds. And it's all because of all this pre-registration and, and playing just because the game just started. All right, let's get into, let's get into the battle here. Obviously the objective is you bring in your three member party right whatever units you have you set them up with the, the, the strong enough gear to clear the stage there's little missions uh within clearing the stage as well as you can see here clear without any KOs, clear within 25 turns and have hope in your party right so hope is a certain character that i want to put into the party now just so i can get that bonus going uh where's hope and uh let's go ahead and uh, get into the battle here. I, I know you guys have a lot of questions this it's 
it took it took me a while. I was playing it for kind of a while, and uh, it took me a while, but uh, definitely it, it all starts to make sense. So what I did there was I selected a random support. You can bring in a support person. It's just a random list of other players out there that uh, you can select as a support. Uh, having a support on your team, you're able to uh, use them if you want to. You can utilize them for a couple of turns and help you clear whatever stage that you might have troubles with. So as you can see, 3v3 like I said, and uh, you might be wondering what some of these things on the screen are, right? Over on, on the enemies, they have a certain number on each of them. That is their BRV, that is their bravery points, right? And uh, that's 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 the amount of damage they can do. So once you build up that bar, when they attack me, if they want to hit me, uh, they, they want to hit me, they can hit me for that much. There's two different bars. God, I'm gonna, I gotta explain this in the right order. I just want to tell you like 20 million things at one time. So there's two bars that are, I guess, the most important. BRV points and HP points. Obviously, hit points, right? Your health. Uh, BRV is the, is, the, is the amount you can see on the top. You cannot see the amount of HP uh, your opponent has, all right? So your objective is pretty much to kill your opponent, right? But the only way you're going to be able to do damage is to increase your own BRV bar, right? So as you can see right now, uh, with, my, with my three characters, I have... Uh, obviously on the left side starting off first you see how much health I have uh, and the number on the right is how much BRV I currently have the number on the right uh, to the right of that is the max amount of BRV I can get I believe attacking first here is hope I have three skills I can use I can use a B a regular BRV attack this will increase my BRV while decreasing the opponent's BRV okay second skill is an HP attack this is gonna do damage obviously to the HP and third skill is a bonus skill. Every character is going to get one bonus skill, but as you level up the character, you're going to get a second bonus skill. In this case, it's Shell, right? right? And uh, by clicking Shell, I gave everybody, like the name says, kind of like a, a buff to my entire team. All right, so it's my next uh, my next character's turn here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a, BR, a BRV attack. You can see I did 461 damage. Uh, so you can see that the opponent, that, that obviously is more BRV than the opponent have. So what I did was I broke the opponent's uh, BRV. And what that did was uh, help me to gain more BRV for my entire team. As well as now, if I want to kill him, I can go ahead and kill him with using an HP attack and finishing him off. You see? But keep in mind though, when you use your HP attacks, it drains your BRV. Meaning that you're susceptible to being attacked and BRV broken yourself because you have zero BRV. It's, it's kind of it's kind of interesting, right? It took me a while to kind of get used to it, but I'm really liking it. This person's low, but we need to break them to get more BRV. Because if you don't have any BRV bravery points, you're not going to do any damage to HP. So let's say I wanted to just do an HP attack. I could do an HP attack, but I'd do like zero damage. If your bravery point number starts radiating the purple color, it means you can kill the enemy. Oh, there we go. The, the glowing, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Since we don't know how much HP your opponent has, if your your BRV points are glowing, that means that uh, you definitely can kill your opponent that you currently are targeting. That's a, that's a good one to note as well. So you can see right here, right? I have Chocobo, right? It's a way to summon Chocobo, and you're gonna get some added benefits. Chocobo is uh, what what he's gonna do is give me uh, HP for my entire team, and as well as gain, uh, give me attack bonus. Okay. The summon speed is moderately fast. What does that mean? As I play out the battle, as I do turns, as I do damage to my opponent, I'm going to slowly build up this bar that's going to go around Chocobo, and then I'm going to be able to summon him. Certain characters actually do BRV and HP damage. I believe Cloud might be one of them. They, they're able to do both. So let's, let's do this uh, attack here. Snap punch. See, and you notice I was able to BRV break and then do the HP damage. Yeah? She's OP. I looked her up. Yeah, a any unit that can do BRV and HP on their bonus uh, skill is is pretty OP. Yeah, I believe Cloud also does the same. So watch, watch as I use Cloud's uh, cl uh, cross slash. I did BRV break and then I hit him with the HP. You see that? Not every character will do that. All right, as I talk a little bit to you guys, they do have a feature like uh, a lot of games, different games out there, an auto mode. Uh, the only thing about using this auto mode, the only thing I don't like is it doesn't always make the smartest decisions. It kind of will it kind of will get you past the stage sometimes but certain stages if you auto and you find yourself failing it's probably because the ai is doing something weird uh but that's the only issue but you can use you can you can auto play um a lot of these stages oh okay so that's something i didn't know so auto mode will never use skills in because now that i know that what i'm thinking is that autoing is okay for some of these stages that you know you have an easy time with or if you're just farming a couple of these stages for like uh some of the bonuses or for guild but I'm thinking for bosses or harder stages because they do have a harder mode. Uh, this is this chapter mode is on normal. There's a hard mode as well for the same thing. Um, you might want to manual it for those. Five guard or is this the one that gives you the power? Oh yeah, so you can power up your armor a little bit more effectively with this. 
Yeah, these 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 types of items are just primarily used to power up your equipment. So you choose the weapon you want to uh, enhance. You guys might have already assumed uh, by using other weapons that are maybe not as good or you're currently not using, you can use them to power up weapons to level them up, right? So I could use these other weapons uh, that I have obtained from quests or from missions, or I can also use the, where is it? Oh, do I not have any? Okay, well, I would usually down here, I already used it all. Uh, you get these uh, certain items, which are just material primarily to power up weapons or primarily to power up armor, right? So you can use weapons or you can use the materials that just primarily use to power up weapons to power up your weapon. Basically, all you do is you just click on what you want to power up. Obviously, you can see these are two stars and, you know, it doesn't give a whole bunch of, uh, I would say, EXP or power up to the weapon, but uh, we'll go ahead and use two of these. And it costs gill as well as those weapons and materials to power up. And you can get- wow, of course. Okay, so when you power up weapons, obviously there's different levels of powering up. You can get good, great, and I believe excellent. Uh, if you're lucky, you get higher grades. And what they do is it gives you an extra boost of, I, I, I can say, EXP or power up to your weapon. So, I just got excellent there, but that, that wasn't that much stuff. And yeah, unfortunate. I wish it was for the uh, materials earlier. It would give me a bigger boost. Is it a guaranteed nat 5 weapon from the tutorial ticket draw? Um, no. I believe it's going to be a guaranteed 5 star weapon from any draw that you do after Demo Tricks. You have the 5,000 draws. The multi draws. You know what? Let's do one now. Let's do a multi draw for 5,000 gems. Guaranteed 5 star. If anything, I still want that cloud weapon. Even though uh, we might be able to get a buster, uh, a buster sword. Please? Please? I'm going to look at- I'm going to watch every single one. Until my the, the five star one comes out, please, 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 please for the five star, please, please for the five star. No, oh, that's the four star one. That's the four star one. Okay, where's the five star? Here it is. Hulu, Lulu, welcome to the that doesn't look like it. <laughs> Pick up your coconut. All right, and who's this one used for? Uh. Ah, okay, okay. Alright, uh, is this one good? Let me take a look. That weapon is SS tier drop? Wait, where, where, where is he? I don't, I don't have Van yet, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's complete this. This looks like, this looks like the, the end of these, uh, these battles here. That, that, that guy kind of looks like Van. Is that not? Hopefully we'll unlock it soon and we can use it. Yeah. You're unlocking Van right now? I knew you looked familiar! <laughs> okay, this could not have been the better- the, the best timing ever. I pull- I pull one a, a, a good weapon for a, a unit that's actually very strong, apparently. SS tier weapon, and we are unlocking the character right now as well. Okay, um, I- I would- I'm gonna go- It's all part of the plan. I specifically stayed on this stage, Chapter 2, for this. Professional stream, you know what I'm saying? I, I take a bow now. Right? Yeah. Played it out right. You know how it is. Alright, let's see Van. Van's only level one though, but let's see, let's see how he functions. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, oh, it's a boss. Uh yeah, we're gonna snap punch again. He might even kill you here. How much HP you got? Holy okay, this this boss has a lot of HP. You know what? I think we might be able to finish off with Cloud. Let's see what HP damage here for 500, and then let's use Cloud for the uh the 2000. See, it's shining, that means he's gonna die. Yeah, shall we use cross slashers for the lulls? Yeah. Yeah. Extra overkill damage. That's what I'm talking about, right? Okay, let's talk about this. This rank up. Okay. What is rank up? As you can see, we ranked up from rank 15 to 16. What does that entail? That is kind of like your account rank. Okay, these are not your character ranks. Each character has their own rank, which you can uh, level up and uh, power them up through uh, different scenarios, stages, or dungeons. But leveling your own account up in terms of ranks, it will give you more followers, more people can follow you, and in a sense, kind of like your friends, right, can follow you, as well as you get more SP. SP, you're gonna be using it towards something I'm gonna share with you guys in just a moment here. Uh, World of Illusion. It's gonna be a special, I guess you can say, stages, which you can clear using SP. Let's use my, uh, our newly acquired friend here. Ah, you have a Yida as well. I knew Yida was good. Your Yida must be good. Uh, really good. All right, let's go and do Snap Punch, right? Oh, what does Touch of Death do? I don't have that skill yet. Brave attack, fair chance, poison for three turns. Okay, could that be good? I think the snap punch is what's really good about it, right? Yours probably hits. Two. Wow. So we can use you for five turns, which is really nice, because I'm just going to keep using your snap punch, and it's just going to keep, like, charging yourself up with brave points and doing an HP damage attack. 
This probably is enough to brave break them again. Yeah, get my 5k? What the? Alright, get my Yida back. My Yida's not gonna do as much. Oh yeah, my Yida. 1300. Oh, 16k. Target was 5,000, which is too OP, boys and girls. Clear without taking any breaks. Oops. Alright, nice. More gonna open up, and as you see... Oh, I can collect that. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so as you can see, these uh, these later stages, I need 20 SP to do these premium stages. And uh, I only have a maximum of 16. As you rank up, you're gonna unlock the ability to have a, a higher maximum SP, as well as... Um, if you want to redo stages, you can, I believe, but you're going to need to have the SP for that. And as you can see on the bottom right, I have seven right now. And every two, or I think two minutes, 30 seconds, three minutes, uh, you're going to get more SP. I, I forgot how long, five minutes, maybe every, uh, every five minutes, you get one SP. Use those mats and enhance your Ifrit. Okay, so what is an Ifrit? All right, you guys, we have been talking uh, so far about the characters. We talked a little bit about these summons. Uh, let us go ahead and uh, talk more about different summons. So as you can see, we do have the uh, Chocobo as well as I have uh, gotten the Sylph as well. Uh, these are other summons uh, you can say that you can get um, as you are doing your battle as you are attacking You're charging up your bar for your summons and you'll be able to summon it And uh, I guess you can say in a nutshell use their abilities The last thing I had a question about is I know it says something about you see these stars I mean I have five stars right as you can see Five stars, but then you have these three circles. All right. I believe this is called affinity break meaning that if you feed the same weapon to that weapon you enhance that weapon's break. And once you uh, do it three times, you get the infinity ability permanently. Oh, li limit break, limit break. That's what it is, limit break, yeah. So does that mean I don't get this effect right now until I feed three of them into it to limit break it? Then you equip the infinity passive for that character without wearing the equipment. Ah, that makes sense. So I get this passive once I, I, I limit break it. And I can equip a different weapon onto Vaughn, and I'll still have this affinity ability. Interesting. Wow. Okay, another question that might be good for other people that are just starting as well. When is it a good time to go back to these chapters and do them on hard? Because right now, as you guys see me going through these uh, stages right now, we're doing it on normal. But you can go back and do it on a hard level, right? To get, you know, more EXP, more loot. But uh, when is it a good time to go back to uh, do these stages to... to uh, do it on hard. Suggest so doing hard when your team reaches 30 plus. Okay. Yeah, set power settings to normal to run game at 60 FPS. Well, it will drain your battery, but if you play on blue stacks, it's fine. Ah, okay. I don't care if it drains my battery. Let's go let's still change that right now. Everything looks good. Right? I think we're good to go. We're good to go. What shall we do, guys? I think we should do the all-star draw. What do you guys think? All right, here we go. Let's do it. I'm just going to skip it. I want to see my weapon here. Oh, that's, you're, you're going to be so salty, dude. I can't believe I got that one again. I thought you told me it was really hard to get. What, what is the chances that we got that one again? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We didn't roll it yet. I'm just kidding. Yeah, all, all you people out there are probably like, what the, what the heck? <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going to do it again here. We can get more than one five-star weapon, all right? Screen broke? No, just kidding. Trolling, you guys. <laughs> Ariel's like, God. Oh, we should, we, should, we should have Kona tap it. Kona, Kona, Kona boy. The dog's paw is a good luck, yeah? I heard I heard stepping in dog doo-doo is good luck. So, you know, what about a dog paw? Dog paw's gotta be good luck too, right? Kona, I'll give you a treat if you come. Kona. Six and a half hours later. Hey, you're making people wait, Kona. Come here. Are you ready to give us your luck? Yeah, if you guys want to get the best weapons, the best gear in the game, yeah? There ain't no cheat code. There ain't no hack. All you do, you need a Kona. That's it. Let me show you, all right? Come here. See, a dog's paw is a good luck, yeah? If you want one, I can give you one. He has four of them. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, yeah, go on. Come on! Click it, click it, click it, click it. Okay. Ta-da! Eh? Okay, there you go. All right, all right, you can go now. He's like, God damn it, you use me all the time. All right, don't call Peter, okay? It's too bad, you don't want to give luck, I take the luck. Okay, okay, oh, come on. There was only one in here, oh, come on. Only one five, okay, it better be something absolutely absurdly. 
don't think that one's that good. I don't think that one's as good. I guess it has to come from the pure. You know what I mean? You can't force it. One more. Mm. Okay, let's do another one. Rage one more? Yeah, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more, dude. 5,000 crystals, dude. Yeah. Forehead. See that? Cracked it with my forehead. Easy. Watch this. Mm hmm. Here it comes. Here we go. It's coming soon. Okay, the four star one. Come on, give me a five star. Oh, come on. Only get one five star again. Oh, it's okay. Okay, be something. I'm... How come I always get so many four stars, though? Okay, the five star. Ta -ta How come that looked like the other one? I think that's just as bad as the other one. <laughs> Yeah, we, we just gonna pretend that, that that didn't happen and we got Vaughn. Yeah, pretend. Oh, yeah, 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 because we don't know, right? Uh, here we go, here we go. Okay. Wow! This is awesome! I can't believe it happened! Wow! Woo! Yeah! This is the one I've been wanting, actually! Yes! Let me, let me actually uh, see if I can power up any of my units. I didn't even use any of my passive professional streamer. Okay, relax. Okay. I, I specifically didn't uh, use any of my skills yet, my passive abilities, so I could show you that uh, when you level up the units, uh, you get, you gain special abilities, which you can you which you can use if you have enough CP, you can activate them. Yeah, that's why I didn't have any of them activated yet. Mhm, mm was to show you guys, right? As well as how to get CP, how to get more CP, the weapons, the equipment that you have. Uh, as you can see the number the CP next to it show you how much CP you can gain via the weapon So that's gonna be one way you can get more CP, but at the current time I have plenty of CP to go around Let's see what cloud. Let's see if cloud is. Oh, yeah Yeah, I was waiting to activate that to show you guys that as well. Mm hmm uh, crystal strength Okay, let's talk a little bit about crystal strength um, as you play the game as you do different stages You're gonna be able to get these crystals these crystals are used to enhance your character as you can see Different character types have different color crystals. I'm colorblind. So all they look they all look the same to me Let's do cloud. All right cloud cloud can use some enhancement. So as you can see I've enhanced these already and as you can see at the top I have 12 crystals that I can use to enhance all right these first starting ones I've already enhanced you enhance them level by level right? I guess you can say the strength of your character increases right the next one gives me 150 HP It's gonna take five of these crystals to use I use them. I accept it. I gain the bonuses, right? Move on to the next one. All right, this one I get defense cost me five Move on to the next one. Next one costs five as well, but I don't have enough, right? Other ways to farm this is, uh, okay, so I, okay, another thing is that, as you can see, there's three different types of crystals. As you go further down the list, you're gonna need more and more of these higher tier, uh, crystals to upgrade your skills and make your unit stronger. It looks like strength 50 is the max. Goes the same for every single unit. How to obtain these crystals? Obviously, like I said, you can get them from certain stages of the game. Just going through the games, the tutorial, a lot of these stages, you can get that, but probably the best and easiest way to obtain them is in this event section right this event section every single day you can think of it as another dungeon opening yeah uh i think it's called a cycle quest for the exact word here every single day is a different cycle quest as you can see it's a different color every day so a different type of crystal that uh, you can uh you can farm every day make sure you guys log in to do these every single day because you're only going to be able to go into them 10 times Okay, along with these different colored crystals, there is one specific day, which like it says here starts in two days, is going to be for gill. Gill is just your main currency in the game. You're going to be able to go in that dungeon and farm more gill. So overall, make sure you collect these crystals because you're going to be able to power up all your different units by however many crystals you have. So as well as, as the, the further you progress in the game, the harder the dungeons you can continue to do because I believe there's different difficulties, higher the difficulties, differences of drops and different types of drops, right? Higher tier drops come out. As you progress more but uh, we will be making a discord channel for all this so if you guys have any questions you gotta feel, feel free to join it as well as if you're an expert feel free to get in the discord anyways you can still answer a lot of questions uh that can help out a lot of players uh i want to give a quick shout out to uh square enix for sponsoring this and giving me the opportunity to share this game with my community as well as to it's just to everybody here it's been absolutely amazing playing this game for the last uh, week or so the game's only been out for two weeks i've been playing it for like only like a couple days uh this week and uh, i've been enjoying it very much I'm curious to see how this game continues to grow and expand and the uh, upcoming 
patches and updates that uh, will be potentially re released. And uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, definitely leave, leave a comment below. Let me know if, how big of a Final Fantasy fan you are. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to know if, uh, how you guys enjoy this game. Guys, as always, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Keep the, your positive vibes flowing. And I'll see you guys on the next live video. Live streamer video. Why do I always say live video? Yeah. But I'll catch you guys later, alright? Peace out, everybody. Good night. What's up, fam? It's your boy, Siri. If you enjoyed the video and want to support the Hana and look fly as heck doing it, check the description because we got some kind of new merch. Woo!